Good afternoon. Good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome to Midday with Lajon and Valora. We are on our third day of seven days of breakthrough. Amen. We're here to let you know that your perseverance is about to pay off. Amen. Welcome, welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. We've come to magnify him on today and to bless his holy name. Amen. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. God has something amazing in store for you on today, and he's about to show himself strong and mighty. Glory to God. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming in and joining in with us on this beautiful afternoon. It is probably uh, about 78 degrees here in sunny Tampa, Florida. And uh, so we are excited to have you with us on this afternoon. So please invite some people to come on with you as well. Let them know that we are on and uh, they will truly be blessed by um, this broadcast. Amen. Glory to God. We are excited. So let us know where you're coming in from, where you're joining us from. We're excited. We want to make sure that we um, connect with you. If this is your first time um, with us, let us know it's your first time so we can welcome you, officially welcome you to the Suddenly family. Amen. God is the God of the suddenly and he's the God in the suddenly. And so today is a brand new day, new mercies, new breakthroughs. Amen. We serve the God of the breakthrough. And so your perseverance, your prayers, um, your petitions, your, your giving, your serving truly has not been in vain. And so it's about to pay off. And so you certainly want to stay until the end of this broadcast so you can receive everything that God has for you today. Well, you want to tell them about the uh, Global Mega Suddenly and then Port Charlotte? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We're really excited about um, Mega, our Global Mega Suddenly that's taking place in August, August the 2nd through the 4th of this year. So we certainly want you to get um, all the information that you need so that you can make plans to come and be a part of that. Um, as you know, we started suddenly last year. God gave us that last year. And so every place that we've gone, um, people will be represented from those different areas, um, cities within the United States, as well as um, cities outside of the United States. So we're excited um, about that. You can go to our website and view that. If you're in the Port, um, Port Arthur, Texas area, please, please join us next month as we will be there with our suddenly, um, along with um, John Dillon Coleman, um, will be there. Apostle Janice Milo, along with her husband, Bishop Kenneth Milo, they will be hosting with us um, the suddenly there in Port Arthur, Texas. We love Port Arthur and uh, so we were there last year. We're going back again this year. Um, it's just a, a short distance actually from Dallas. So if you're in the Dallas area, please make plans to be a part of that. We would certainly love, love, love to um, meet you all if we haven't met you yet. Meet you all and just love on you and, um, and just bless you. So thank you so much um, for that. For more um, information on other things that we're doing, you can certainly go to our website, um, www.lejohnandvalora.com. Well, good afternoon. Yes. We pray that God is doing uh, something just amazing in your life. You know, we're going to do uh, these seven days of breakthrough. And then uh, next week, we're going to do seven more days. We're going to surprise you with what we're going to be talking about next week. So for the next yes. 21 days, we kind of had decided we were going to be on a place of consecration. So uh, so seven days of uh, breakthrough, and then seven days, we're going to do another thought, and then seven more days. But it's all around the topics of suddenly and the things that we really believe God's going to do for you in your life. We believe God wants to do some amazing things for you. We don't believe that you just uh, got saved to live and uh, to just exist and then die. We believe that God wants to do amazing supernatural things through you and uh, through those that are connected to you. One announcement we forgot to make was that uh, we have our Discipleship Institute. So you can go to www.discipleshipinstitute.org and Monday night at 7. It's actually going to start. It's a 10-month program, six modules. The first module is discipleship. I'm challenged because I believe that much of the body of Christ suffers from a lack of uh, discipleship. Really, you have a, uh, a discipleship deficiency syndrome in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is little or no discipleship that actually takes place. And so right. we've 
been doing discipleship modules for probably about uh, about 13 years now. Started in 2005, and uh, and so I'm really excited about discipleship. We graduated at least 10 classes of disciples and seeing them going on to do great things in the earth because of their time at Discipleship Institute. And so the first class is four weeks long, and it's uh, in, in in discipleship. We talk about becoming a student of, of God and, and then a, a pupil and a learner, which is that's what a disciple is. And right. then we go through the process of being discipled and converted, then being discipled, then learning to work, and then learning to lead. Because eventually we believe everybody was destined to lead, but right. uh, the, 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 the leadership altitude that you reach is based upon the depth of discipleship that you have. Absolutely. And uh, I received a prophetic word just the other night there was someone uh, that we were doing discipleship training at our church and uh, not discipleship training but we were really uh, re re activating in the prophetic mm -hmm. and he uh, he talked about how there were roots in our in uh, for our ministry and just roots that we had set down and as a result of those roots our branches were getting ready to branch out he said that the roots were deep and the roots were wide and there were many roots and I was like, man, I never received a prophetic word like that. I thought that was really, really powerful yes. and really authentic. And so uh, I really believe that the, the taller our branch is, the more roots we need in the ground. And I believe we get those roots by discipleship. Yes. The next uh, course after that, after the first four weeks, is uh, biblical interpretation. That biblical interpretation is six weeks of everything we've learned from our undergrad through graduate work in the areas of biblical interpretation, really learning how to dissect the text of Scripture. Because unfortunately, I believe that, again, that's another area that the body of Christ suffers from is uh, and what malnutrition is is really understanding the Bible and so it's very important that we truly really understand the Bible so nobody can hoodwink and, ba and bamboozle us nobody can uh, get us to believe something or see something or uh, or we're believing God for something but it was never scripture amen right. well that's just the first two classes I'll tell you about the rest of them later I want to take the time to make sure that we get into this text of scripture for those of you who have uh, have your Bibles I am uh, I'm always excited about um, I'm always excited about this text of scripture. This is one of my favorite texts of scripture. And if you've heard me talk about it before, then uh, forgive me. But I love this text of scripture. And this text is coming from 2 Kings chapter 4. And, um, you know, I, I love this thing because it talks about the perseverance of the woman of God. Yesterday, we talked about how you wouldn't quit until you got your breakthrough. Right. And so one of the things that I think was very interesting is everybody really grabbed hold of that word about not quitting until you get your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And so what happens then is, and I believe you shouldn't even quit once you get your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I also thought about with that whole thought and that whole topic was this, which is that there are oftentimes uh, when, when we are almost at the brink of our breakthrough and we've been persevering and we've been stick to it and we've pressed through and we've pushed our way through but for some reason it seems as if though we are not getting the breakthrough that we need yes. and so I'm telling you today that your perseverance is about to pay off your stick to itiveness yes. you're continuing to push you're continuing uh, to stand you're continuing to endure you're continuing to not quit many of you made the declaration I will not quit until I get my breakthrough and because of that because of your declaration there is something powerful in our declaration mm -hmm. Yes. The scripture says that death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And so when we look at that text of scripture, it literally tells us that there is power in our mouth, and that and even that the kingdom is voice act activated. When we release our words, when we release the word of the Lord concerning something, it has much power, and it brings results. The angels, the Bible says, are hearkening unto the voice of the word of God. Yes. And so God says he watches over his word to perform it. And so if God is watching over his word, the angels are hearkening unto the voice of God's word, then it's so significant as a people that we get to a place where we really, really begin to pr uh, pronounce the word of God into the earth because yes. our words frame the atmosphere in which we live. Absolutely. Can I say that again? Our words frame the atmosphere Absolutely. in which we live. Absolutely. And so you've got to be con conditioned to know that whatever you say is going to come to pass. Luke chapter 18 uh, or Luke chapter 4 verse 18, it says, uh, and so this is the story of when uh, Elisha, uh, Elisha had gone to 
uh, gone to Shunem, and there was a woman there when he passed through the city. The Bible says that as he passed through the city, uh, there was a woman there with a husband who uh, she saw him pass through frequently, and she said, we're going to make a little place for him. We're going to make a place for him when he passes through. And as a, re as a result of her being benevolent and kind to the man of God, the man of God asked his servant, he said, what is it that this woman of God needs? What does she right. want? And so it came to pass mm -hmm. that they said, the, the, the servant Gehazi said, they had, they had no children, and as a result of them having no children, uh, it was it was something that uh, that Im that was impregnated into the man of God's heart to say to let, let her know that by this time next year you're going to have a child. And she said, "Man, don't don't play with me. Don't mess with me. Don't don't just don't mess with my emotions. Don't don't prophesy to me. Don't don't give me a prophetic word that's not going to come to pass." Right. And, and but but he said, "No, by this time next year you're going to have a child." And yes. so the story goes on to say, and I'm just giving you the background of what happens before Second Kings chapter four and verse eighteen. And so all of a sudden one day, uh, he was, I guess they had farmland, they were out with the reapers, and all of a sudden, uh, the boy fell sick. His father brought him to his mother. Mm -hmm. And so when he brought him to his mother, uh, this is where the story picks up in chapter 18, verse 1. And it says, when the child was grown, it fell on the day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said to his father, my head, my head. And he said to the lad, carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called upon her husband and said, send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses that I may run to the man of God and come again. And so, you know, it's very interesting. Um, she had faith to believe in the God that was in the man of God. She had faith to believe that if she could just connect with the, the, the conduit or the, the, the emissary, the angel of God uh, that she had met, if she had, she had belief that if she could just connect with him, yes. that the things that she had been believing for would come to pass. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to believe with you for the things that you've been believing God for, that those things would come to pass. Mm -hmm. We're believing that, that your perseverance, and you're getting ready to see Jesus. this woman of God's perseverance pay off. Check this out. And so the scripture goes on to say, and, uh, and she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore would thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. And so out of her mouth, she begins to speak that it shall be well. Yes. The, 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 the reality was is that her child laid upon the man of God's bed, and he was not alive at that point. He had, he had from what she understood, his, the life force had gone out of him. Yes. But in her mouth, she she had begun to say, Jesus. it is well. And so she knew that it shall be well, and then it is well. So she said, it shall be well. And she sat on an ass and said to her servant, drive and go forward. Slack thy, not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. Came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her and say unto her, It is well with thee. It is well with thy husband. Is it well with thy child? And she's answered, It is well. And so she already knew that there was power because of the conduit of God to bring to pass everything she needed. Yes. And I'm telling you, your perseverance, her perseverance, her stick to itiveness, yes. her pushing through. She told her servant, she said, Listen, she said, Do not slack the riding because of me unless I tell you to. To, which meant that she was willing to make herself uncomfortable. She was willing to press into a place My to God. be able to receive the manifestation yes. of the things she was believing for, yes. no matter how uncomfortable it made yes. her. And so she said, I'm not worried about my comfort right now. I need to get into Jesus. a place with God, into the presence of God yes. that will cause my breakthrough to come to pass. And so I'm telling you that today is the day that you make up in your mind, whether you got to fast, whether you got to pray, whether you got to seek, whether you got to sow, whether you got to submit. I don't know what you God is telling you and what your instruction is going to be. Yes. But I'm telling you that today is the day that you make up in your mind that whatever it takes, I'm going to get into the presence of God and my perseverance is getting ready to pay off for me. My perseverance, my stick to itiveness, my not quitting, my believing God, my continuing to speak yes. forth the, the blessings of God, the favor of God, the increase of God. Come on. You got to continue to speak it. You got to continue to believe it. You got to continue to trust God. You got to continue to know that you know that you know that God is able even as his word says to do exceeding abundantly yes. above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is working in
something in you and the power of faith, yes. the power, the dunamis power of God, the power, the anointing of God, which brings forth mighty working of miracles. You got to believe that inside of you is that ability. Jesus. Come on. You cannot quit. You cannot throw in the towel. You cannot give up. You've got to know that you know that you know that no matter how tough it looks, how much this, how dead the situation Glory looks, come on, yes. how, how, how big the wall is, yes. you got to know that God has the ability to break every obstacle, to destroy every mountain, to obliterate everything Jesus. that stands in front of you. And he is a God who will do just that. And so the Bible goes on to say, and when it came to pass, the man of God came to the hill. Oh she God, caught him by the oh feet, God. but Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And the Lord had hid, hid it from me and have not told me. Verse 28. Again, I'm reading in 2 Kings chapter 4. I started at verse 18. I'm at verse 28. Then she said, did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, do not deceive me? Verse 29. Then he said to Gehazi, gird up thy loins and take my staff in thy hand. And go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not. And if any man salute thee, answer him not. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. Jesus. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. Verse 31, Gehazi passed on before them and laid the staff on the face of the child. But there was neither voice nor hearing. For he, for he went again to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awake. In verse 32, And when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. And he went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and laid his hands upon his hand. And he stretched himself upon the child and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times and the child's eyes opened. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her, and when she was come in upon him, he said, Take up thy son. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. And so our declaration for you today is that everything you've been believing God for, Jesus. everything you've been trusting God. God for, everything you've been pronouncing, everything you've been speaking out of your mouth, every prophetic word that you released, everything you've been asking God to do is getting ready to come to pass. Are you listening to me? I'm decreeing yes. and declaring that in the name of Jesus, God is literally getting ready to cause everything that you've been believing him for, everything you've been trusting him for Jesus. is getting ready to come to pass like never before. Come on, stand yes. on the word of God. Believe the word of God. I trust the word of God. Yes. Know that God's word concerning you is getting ready to come to pass. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it feels like. It doesn't matter what they said or anybody else said. It doesn't even matter what, what you think or what you feel. Right. You got to know that the God that we serve is able, again, according to his word, to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could believe or ask or think in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the things that I, I begin to see that perhaps I had not saw before for in that story is, you know, one of the things that she was concerned about the man of God, that she made provision for the man of God, that um, she began to sow, she began to serve, she began to commit her ways unto the Lord. And when we get into the place where, where we're faithful to God, when we get to the place where we honor him, that we are persistent and consistent in what he has called us to do, let me tell you something, there are things you don't even have to ask God for. God will then begin to ask you, what do you want? That's what it. can I do for you? How can I bless you? My God, that's where I want to be. I want to be in that place to where I don't have to ask God for something. He asked me, what do I want? How can he bless me? And so, and, and so, and, and so even now on today, God wants to bless you. He wants to do more for you than you can even ask or think in the name of Jesus. God is saying, I'm, I'm hearing you. I, I see what you are doing. I see your persistence. I see your faithfulness. And many times that, you know, perhaps other people, they may forget what you have done. They may have forget your sacrifice but God said I have I know your your works I know what you have done I know your sacrifice I know how you have served and many times without anybody else knowing and God said I am not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love whereby you have ministered and even ministered to my people God said I cannot forget I can forget your sin but I will not forget your sacrifice your sacrifice comes before the Lord as a sweet aroma as a savior hallelujah and, and it becomes worship 
unto him. And when we, when we exhibit worship unto God, heaven opens up over us. And when heaven opens up, something is already is, is always released in the name of Jesus. Strength is released. Power is released. Provision is released. Finances is released. Faith is released. The fire of God is released. When heaven opens up, God said, I'll pour you out a blessing that you won't even have room enough to receive. Glory to God. The faith of this woman, the faith of this woman, let me tell you, it has exceeded her. It has exceeded her life because we're still reading about her faith. We're still reading about the hand of God. What is God? What is your story that generations to come will begin to read about? They will begin to read about your faithfulness and how God used you to change systems, how God used you to overthrow principalities, how God used you to destroy generational curses. So don't give up. Come on. You got to you got to persevere, not just for yourself, but for the next generation and generations after you. They're, you're going to leave a legacy. You're going to leave something. Hallelujah. That others will be able to be blessed by in Jesus name. Amen. You yes. got to receive that today. Yes. You know, you really got to get that in your spirit because the Bible says faith Jesus. coming by hearing and hearing by the word of yes. God. So the more of God, the word of God you put inside of you, mm -hmm. uh, you begin, as I talked about earlier, those roots, those roots begin to go yes. into the ground and they begin to literally, literally cause a harvest to come into your branches. I'm yes. telling you that God is really Jesus. getting ready to release some things for many of you that have been believing God. You've been, you know, as my wife said, I, I you know, it goes back. And when I, you said that, I thought back to the principle that God gave us, mm -hmm. which was if we sow, if we serve, and if we submit, submit silently Sin and sincerely, yes. that come God on. will That's cause it. our next level to be released to us. Mm -hmm. Again, we got to, we got to find people. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily always mean that you got to submit under a leader. Sometimes as a leader, you got to find people that you can sow into, that you can yes. serve and that you can, that you can submit your gifts to. Absolutely. So, and you can do it silently and that you can do it sincerely and God himself will begin to reward you and begin to release these things for you. Mm -hmm. And I believe there are some of you out here who have been faithful. You've been committed. You've been doing everything that you know to do that's right before God. And yes. because of that, God said that because of your perseverance, mm -hmm. I'm about to cause your perseverance to pay off. And I'm going to pay you off in the form of breakthrough. I'm going to pay you off in, in the form of, uh, of, of, of really breaking down walls that have come to try to destroy even your forward momentum, obstacles that have been in your place. You started school uh, 20 years ago. And so something happened. You didn't necessarily get get finished with your degree. You started the book. As you were writing, something happened. Some, somebody died. Something went on and something else happened and you got you got tied up. You went through yes. a divorce. You 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 lost your, your you know your excitement. You lost your zeal. You lost Jesus. your uh, you, you know your momentum. But but you're getting ready, your perseverance, but the fact that you just kept you kept going back and you'd write a couple of sentences here or there. And and, and, and you may not have had a lot of strength, but you had enough strength to just keep going and you had enough strength to inch your way there. There. God says, I'm going to cause even now that this is going to be the season of your of your restitution and your restoration and your breakthrough in everything you've been believing me for. Come on. You Amen. you you started, yes. uh, you know, some of you started other things. You started a business and it seems like the first couple of times that just the first year or two, it didn't go very well, but you just held on. You still got the business name. You kept renewing the business name with the state. Yes. Come on. You said, you know, I'm going to hold on to this. Even if I'm, it yes. doesn't look like I'm prospering, I'm going to hold on. On. But God says, let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to reward you for your faithfulness and yes. for your commitment My and God. for your stick to and for your perseverance. Even the word of God says uh, that we should be not weary and well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. And so we declare that we are not of those who will faint. We will not faint. We will not give up. We will not give in. We're going to persevere. We're going to push. And our perseverance is going to pay us in Jesus name. Absolutely. Um, being able to push past sometimes the tiredness, the weariness, sometimes the loneliness, sometimes when it seems as though you don't see the results, it seems as though things are not changing, but God said, don't give up, continue to press, continue to push, continue to seek after him with all of your heart, mind, and soul, because sometimes when we, the closer we get, and sometimes it's been a, it's been a period of time, you know, I was talking to someone earlier today, and so they were in school, and so they said they, they've been doing very well, but now it's come down to the end, and, and so it's, at sometimes at the end that you got to push the hardest. It is at the end that you need the most strength. It is at the very end. Glory to God. It is seemed like everything is coming against you, that you get tired, that your body gets tired, your emotions get tired. But God said, I'm giving you a second wind. God said, I'm breathing afresh upon you so that you can persevere, so that you can get through and get over the obstacle because everything that
that has held you back and is attempting to hold you back, God said you're going to break through it. So you've got to you've got to lift up your head, amen. You got to stand in the face of adversity. Sometimes you may have to lift up your hands. Sometimes you got to lift up your head, but whatever you do, whatever you need to do, do it so that you can break through because you're coming to the end of this thing. Again, you you you're fighting to leave a legacy. You're fighting hallelujah, glory to God so that you can leave a legacy of prosperity. You can leave a legacy of blessings. You can leave a legacy, glory to God, to your children and your children's children. And your children will rise up and they will call you blessed because that's what the word of God declares in the name of Jesus. You're going to be able to employ other people. You're going to be able to bless even kingdoms and nations. You're going to be able to lend to nations. You're not going to have to borrow anymore. But God said, I'm bringing to a place that you're able to lend and not borrow because you're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath in the name of Jesus. And God said, arise, arise, daughter, and take your rightful place. Don't look at what you see. Don't look at how you feel. Glory to God or how tired you are. But God said you are being renewed even, even more in the name of Jesus. Even <coughs> you shall get weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You're going to mount it with wings as eagles. You're going to run and not get weary. You will walk, but you certainly will not faint. Come on. They got to believe yes, it. Come got on. To. You yes. got to get that in your spirit. Glory you got to know God. these yes. seven days of breakthrough. We're believing God for breakthrough in your life. We're believing God. God that God is going to literally cause you uh, to press through and encounter some amazing things. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited, really, really excited about what God is doing yes. and how he's doing it in your life. Our declaration is that uh, this is going to be the best season of your life. That no matter what other seasons have been like and what other Jesus. storms and what other trials you've come through, that God is literally getting ready to cause this to be the best season of your life. Amen? Amen. Well, listen, we love you. I want to give the announcement about uh, the deal that you're doing with the okay. oils. That would be amazing. Absolutely. And then there, again, are some of you that want to go to our discipleship institute, you want to learn. You've never been discipled. You've, you've been frustrated because you've never been discipled. Nobody's ever taught you. Somebody told you that you were a prophet. Somebody told you you were an evangelist. Somebody told you you had a calling on your life, but they've never given you the tools that were necessary to prepare you to fulfill your destiny. Absolutely. Come on, this, this school is for you then. Come on. Absolutely. And so please go to our website. But um, we've had some requests that if we would do a bundle for the oils. And so we, we've we done a bundle. And so it started yesterday. It will end on Saturday. So if you purchase three oils, you will get the fourth one free. Um, and so we do have the oil of breakthrough. You can certainly get them individually. They're on our website. But um, if you want the bundle, you can purchase three and get the fourth one free. So the, um, the oil of breakthrough, the oil of consecration, the kingly anointing oil for those that you are in business, you are entrepreneurs, are looking to even start a business, and certainly the oil of consecration. Um, this is um, the oil of consecration that you're consecrating yourself unto the Lord, as we have been doing um, during this time of, of fasting and praying. And um, the Lord just laid on my husband's heart to just do these seven days of breakthrough. There's another seven days coming, and another seven days after that of different focuses. But um, we're here to to stand with you, to encourage you, to equip and empower you, and. So so whoever it is that God has connected us to in this season that are on this broadcast, this message is for you. Please share because someone else needs to hear this revelation. They need to be strengthened in what they're believing God for. Amen. Because we don't want you to quit in the midst of it. We don't want you to get so close. Amen. And not receive what God has for you. But this is the season of breakthrough. You've got to know what God is doing. Amen. In, in your life at, at, at a specific time so that you can join in with him to to receive what it is that God is releasing unto you. So God is saying, I'm causing you to break through. And so whatever tools you need, whatever resources you need in order to um, apply that to your life, go ahead and do that so that you can receive everything that God has promised. Amen. Well, yes. listen, we only want to do these uh, broadcasts for about 30 minutes, but we want you to know that we do love yes. you. We do bless you. We do declare that uh, it's that season for you in your life where you're going to begin to see the tangible hand of God begin to move, the visible God, the hand of God begin to move and begin to literally clear obstacles out of your way. And uh, I see God just reaching down and moving things out of your way and getting all the obstacles and all the clutter and all the walls. And he's literally getting ready to demolish them out of your way. you got to receive that. you got to know that God is faithful who promised. You've also got to know that God loves you enough not to leave you where you are. He's got a great plan for you. You've got 
got a great destiny for you. He's got a great purpose for your life. And it doesn't matter what obstacles or trials or storm have come your way. You are anointed for this. You will not quit until you break through. We declare this is your season of a, a breakthrough. Listen, we're not going to do a broadcast tomorrow except for tomorrow night. Now, we've been saying we're going to do the midnight cries. I think it's just wisdom. We don't want to burn out. We want to be able to continue to go. So I tell my wife what we're going to do is we're going to do midnight cries on, on Saturday night. We may find one other night during the week that we'll do our midnight cry, which is our midnight yes. prayer. Uh, but we're going to definitely do it on Saturday night because I really believe that's a really great night for us to do it. It's a night when typically we've had the most people to come on with us mm -hmm. on Saturday night. So we're really excited about Saturday nights. And if you're anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, uh, please meet us on this Sunday. We're continuing our series on angels on assignment and, uh, and, and talking about the presence of God. Uh, something inside of me tells me my wife is going to be ministering Sunday. And so uh, y'all pray for her. I really believe that there's a word in her belly uh, for the people of God. And I believe that, uh, that she's going to bless us. Amen. So uh, if you've ever heard her preach, I mean, she's a dynamic and prolific preacher of the word. And uh, she is just, she's just phenomenal. Amen. She, she knows how to really uh, go into the spirit realm. Amen. And pull down uh, the anointing of God that releases miracles and signs and wonders and angelic hosts to begin to ascend and descend from heaven. Even as Jacob found in that place called, uh, that they finally named Bethel. So I know you know how to get into the presence of God and help the people of God get their blessings released. And uh, I just believe it's that season. Amen. How many, how many people believe that, that she has a word for the people of of God for this Sunday morning at our church in Tampa. But I thought you were going to continue from what you Oh yeah, but, but because we're one, whatever <laughs> I continue, whatever you continue, it's just like me continuing. Oh, I thought I'd been able to tell them, I'm anointed to continue. Come on, I, I'm, the, I'm the apostle. I, I, I pioneer. <laughs> I set the way and you you can just kind of go on. But go on. And, see, some people saying they believe it already. Come on, people are already saying, I believe, yes, Lord. Yes, she does. See, people believe in you, girl. You got you to gotta know that you know that you know that there's an anointing on you. Did you see that? There was an anointing on you to break through. It's the anointing. Yes, it's the anointing. The anointing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, it's all right to have fun in the kingdom. <laughs> We love you guys. We bless you. If, if you're you... near Tampa, if you're near Tampa on Sunday, and if you want to take part and be a part of our, our time. And yeah, our... When, yeah, come on, hear her <laughs> preach. Praise the Lord on Sunday. Hallelujah. Well, listen, let me say this too. Apostle Eckhart is doing a webinar on schizophrenia and double-mindedness. Starts tonight. Make sure that you log in to that if you've not registered for it. So I think it's only $30, so that's a yes. nominal fee. Yes. Make sure you log into that. It'll be a blessing. Because, you know, God may be calling you to the area of deliverance and really understanding how those things operate, how to deal with people. Um, sometimes, with even in ourselves, we, we go through different cycles or seasons in our life and how the enemy would try to come in with double-mindedness that you, you have a heart for God, you believe God, you trust God, but then in those areas where you have unbelief, and so one minute you're trusting and believing God, the next minute you're like, God, I don't know. And so just understanding how to overcome those different challenges and how to even help people um, that you'll come in contact with overcome those different challenges as well. Yeah, somebody said um, that, that you, they, they guess you just found out you was preaching Sunday. <laughs> yes, it, lady. The thing lady. Part about that is, uh, <laughs> Lainey, uh Michelle Johnson, is that if I tell her earlier than that, she'll try to run. She'll be trying to get out of it. So I had to just give it, you know, she's ready. See, she got see he, he did that because you guys are on, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes I can, you know, talk my way out of it. Uh, there is a, co a coupon code for the anointed oil, Kingdom Mind. What is that coupon code? Is it I coupon? don't think, I, you don't need a coupon code. You don't need a coupon code. It's just a bundle. Code. Yeah, it's, okay. just, it's just a bundle. So you'll be able to get that when you purchase that, then. It'll, um, you'll get the, you'll get four of them. You'll get each one of those. So, okay. and everybody yeah. coming to Tampa, listen, you got to register at least so we can know because we've only got, I think there's only a certain amount of spaces. I think it's only like 800 seats. So if over 800 people register, then we have to move to a bigger venue. <laughs> so I need to know how many people are coming. Cause I mean, there are people literally coming from all around the globe for this meeting. And so make sure you go to the website and register now. When you go in to register, it, there is no cost for registration for the free for the free side. There's no cost. You just have to put in information. So it's not going to charge PayPal. It's not going to do any of that. It doesn't charge you anything. or doesn't cost anything unless you ask for premier seating or you're paying for the barbecue, which, of course, we got to charge something for the barbecue because, of course, we got to get all the stuff and know how many people are coming. So don't, uh, don't just... 
you know, I know we're gonna, we have room for people that they just, you know, pop up on us, but it would be great to know that you're coming and keep you abreast of all the things that are happening with the yes. meeting that's coming up. But I believe it's going to be amazing. Apostle John Eckhart was prophesying today. He got a word of knowledge on his broadcast. And when he began to prophesy or begin to release the word of the knowledge that God gave him, it was about Tampa Bay and, and Florida. So he was saying, I really hear something from Miami. Then he, he went on for a long time about something in Tampa. So I believe that God literally wants to do something amazing. Um, you know, I, I really believe that. So if you Jesus. if you can get here, come on. Uh, yes. I, I remember an old song. However you get here, get here how you can. Listen, you need to be here because Trailways, I believe that's airways, right. it doesn't matter. Plane, Whatever you got to do. Automobile. automobile. Get here if you can. So make you sure can. you're here. Make sure you connect with us. I'm not just saying it because it's another conference, but I do believe that there is something that happens in the presence of God that when we come together corporately, that does not happen in other Jesus. venues. Amen. And we've seen some amazing things happen. So make sure that you get here. Somebody said a bike. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Frida, he did. He really did. He was talking about that. Uh, you know, and I, I just believe it. Amen. Uh, uh, I just, I believe it. I really believe it. I heard when he started prophesying that, it really, really struck something in me. And uh, I said, man, I said, I just believe that God, whether it's done through me, through other people, I just want to see God do it. Doesn't matter who God uses to do it. But I do believe that when we come together, that suddenly's happened. That was what happened yes. in the upper room. When they all came together on yes. one accord, there yes. was a sound that came from yes. heaven. And so I believe that yes. even on that Thursday night, we're doing a live recording of the worship. We got Enrique Holmes, Jenny Weaver. We've got uh, the Eternal Worshipper. We've got our Encounter Worship team. Uh, we've got a couple other people that are that are letting me know that they're coming. And so as a result, we're going to put together a powerful worship CD on that night. And we would just love for you all just to be in the building, to be on that video, to be a part of what God wants to do, because it's going to be monumental. I believe that it's literally going to be groundbreaking and that his prophetic word is not going to fall to the ground, but it's going yes. to come to pass through those of us. And then those who are coming, I also want you to be connected with us on the email list so we can send you the instructions because we're going to be fasting about, about 60 days out. We're going to be fasting and praying for a powerful move of God during that meeting. We don't want to just have a meeting. We want to have yes. a meeting with signs, wonders, and miracles. People get healed. People get delivered. People become, people get ideas. Creativity comes. All of the things that we've said are happening. We want those things to happen during that meeting. Amen. Right. So listen, we we love you guys. We're going to talk to you later. We pray blessings and favor and increase yes. and uh, and the, just the hand of God to be My tangibly God. upon you that you can feel his presence, that you can feel his anointing with you and around you and surrounding you in everything you do. We bless you and we praise God for you in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, Geraldine, if you register for the general seating now, you can certainly go back and, and upgrade um, that. So yes, thank you. That's a very, very good question. And so um, if there's other questions that you have have concerning yes somebody said I feel freedom today amen whom the sun sets free is free indeed so um, if you have other questions you can certainly inbox us through our Facebook page Lejean and Valora um, if you have any other questions about the oil it's you can just go to our website or even inbox us um, so we're really really excited so thank you all so very much we love you we appreciate you we're here to serve you we're here to ensure that the perfect will of God is manifested in your life because we're believing God for what you're believing God for. We love you. Bye-bye. Hey, Prophet Coleman said he's going to be like me one day, man. You already there. <laughs> you already there. That's why we're brothers and friends. Listen, we love you guys. We're getting out of here. We'll talk to you soon. Yes.